Welcome back to Alpha Strike, everybody. This is our rare review for the Xavier School, X Men Xavier School. Uh, as before, we do have George, you, and Pedro. Hello, everybody. So we've got George representing our neon green noobs. I will be representing the cool blue casuals, and Pedro will be representing the magma red meta players. Uh, just quick rundown. If you haven't seen the previous two, I recommend going back and watching them. But we're going to read through the card like normal, and then George is going to provide the perspective from a new player on the character, as well as give it a rating between 1 to 10. I'll give the perspective from casual, and then Pedro will give his perspective on the character from a high competitive field, both for sealed and for constructed play. So we're just going to jump right into this. Uh, George, I'll have you start off. Cool. All right, number 33, Angel. All new X-Men and X-Men. Real name, Warring, Warren Worthington III. Trait, X-Men First Class. If this character makes the first attack during a turn and hits, friendly characters with the X-Men keyword modify speed plus one this turn. Uh, special attack ability, aerial assault, precision, uh, precision strike, period. When Angel makes a close attack, modify either attack plus one or damage plus one. Uh, zero range, 50 points, has the X-Men team ability, so that's going to become handy. Just reading over it, even though it is rare, it looks like it's a very simple, basic rare. So let me give this one a seven. Seven? For a new, for a new player. All right, mm -hmm. from the casual scene, you have all new X-Men and X-Men keywords. I said it before in the previous videos, the all new X-Men seems like a limited pool, but we're getting a lot of them in this set, and then I love the X-Men keyword. I can build an X-Men theme any day of the week. Uh, this X-Men first class trait can go really well, especially when you're playing X-Men. And then uh, the fact that he can boost his attack. In a casual scene, you're, you're going to love to play this guy in a theme team for 50 points. He's a great taxi. I'm going to give him an 8 for casual cool. play. Very cool. Well, uh, on the seal scenario, if if it it's not that bad costed on 50 points um the only thing that it dislikes me about him is that his last three clicks having energy shield deflections when he's mainly aimed at being close combat you know i'm i'm not a particular big fan 18 super senses is great uh flying for 12 and carrying with charges also pretty decent he is uh uh flexible enough for you to choose to choose when doing a close attack if you need attack or damage so that's that's helpful um it's it's okay costed for 50 but i would say it's neutral at sealed like five or six if you don't have anyone to fly and carry then a little bit more but in competitive play it's 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 relatively weak uh and even for a call in we're going to see better angels down the road so i would say you know not going to see matter playing constructed but a five or six neutral in sealed all right up next number 34 storm wakanda and x-men so awesome to see her with wakanda keyword real name yep. aurora monroe uh, trait Headmaster X-Men. She gets leadership and perplex, but only to target another friendly character with the X-Men keyword. And during force construction, you may include one student ID card on your force without adding its cost. Her special movement power she has on her first click and her last two clicks is Come Children, uh, Passenger 3, but only to carry characters with the X-Men keyword. She does start with TK and Willpower, drops into Sidestep and Range Combat Expert with Energy Shield Deflection. Love to see that Sidestep RCE. And then back to the special movement power with energy explosion, willpower. Only 50 points with X-Men team ability, George. Ooh. You know, another good one. It uh, makes some good sense for a noob. I mean, the ID card's still going to be kind of a tough one for them. So I'd probably give this one probably a six. Six? All right. From casual perspective, we again, Wakanda. Being able to build a Black Panther and everything we got in the ADW yeah. set you're going to be able to fill a whole new realm of theme team there. And then uh, for X-Men, she's going to be a wonderful taxi, being able to throw somebody else out after she's carried them with that willpower, and then be a great secondary attacker with uh, six range. I'm going to give her a seven for casual play. She's going to fit right in on any X-Men team. Yep, got to agree with that. Uh, on, sealed, on sealed, this is a set that is not going to be too hard for you to have an X-Men team. A little bit harder to be polite to make a Wakanda one, but definitely not for an X Men team. And if you are able to build an X Men team in sealed, like I said, especially given that it's not that hard, she's almost an autoplay. K 
carry for three, TK, got leadership, she has the whole package. Uh, her second and third clicks are great, full synergy there, like you mentioned, size step RCE, range um, energy still deflection. So, you know, use, abuse it, the X-Men also has the X-Men team ability to boot. So I would say it's a it's an auto play if you're able to do an X-Men in sealed. Uh, for a call-in, unfortunately, you're going to see there's a, many better things, especially the one from OP Kit, before even the set, you had a better storm there. Her ID card is amazing, giving three bolts. It's one of going to be one of the most sought-after uh, uh, ID cards from the this particular set. But this particular piece, unless you have an X-Men team to start, I don't think it's going to be uh, seen play. It's a great support team. Again, a piece, sorry, but again, I'm not expected to see constructed, but I definitely must play in sealed for an X Men team. Nine for sealed, and a, not going to see table, unfortunately, for unless very rare situations in, in, in constructed. Just real quick, I did want to touch on the uh, Storm ID card. Just a little bit of theory craft from the uh, Cerebros with uh, good old Dano. He uh, brought to my attention if you had, uh, if you called in Storm on an ID card, probably the uh, Uncanny X-Men 1 in silver, uh, next to one-armed Ollie. He now gets three targets, targets three people, hits them. They can't use their defensive powers. She turns around and does energy explosion for two damage to each of them as Ouch. a follow-up. Not yeah, so, too uh, shabby. <laughs> Not... Breaking that ID card already. <laughs> Not too shabby. That's true. All right, Pedro, you're up next and uh, very fitting with uh, who you're getting here. <laughs> yep. This one, this one plays right up my alley. Uh, he's Darwin. Uh, he has the X Factor at the X Men keyword, real name Darwin. He has the X Student straight trait that has, you know, if we have, have exactly one five in your roles, you modify the target's defense by minus one. You have instant adaptation, another trait that says that when Darwin is targeted with an attack, you choose a standard defense power, and Darwin can use the chosen power for this particular attack. Another trait I can adapt so much faster than you. Whenever another character uses an effect that allows it to choose one or more standard power to use, that's the general language for the anti pick up power, uh, powers. After resolutions, deal that character one unavoidable damage. He has no powers on his dial whatsoever, except for his last two click, his special defense powers that says stop regeneration. Uh, I'm going to start with Mr. George beforehand. <laughs> You know, new players could see that, look at all the words, and go, wait, what can he do? And look at the back. So for Darwin, I'm going to have to give him a four for a new player just because of all yep. the I agree. words. So the fact that he's got X-Factor and X-Men, there are so many good options for X-Factor and X-Men. He's going to be a great filler on any theme team. But again, looking at casual, unless you know that you're going to be going up against pick a power, ah. I'd give him a two for casual play. He is not really designed for casual play. This is this is a meta bullet. Go ahead, Pedro. Yep. No, you said it. This guy, this, expect to see this guy if in, in in many teams that are expecting to face pickup powers. Uh, he's a great piece. Two two stop clicks. Um, you know, are great. Uh, his power is great to be able uh, to trade a defense that he can pick whatever adapts to his best attack. Of course, is it goes without saying. Not only his giving you options, but also uh, uh, harming the opponent when opponents are making his choices. So that's straight up meta right there. Um, I do think that from my particular point of view, and we've, we've done some discussions in the Cerebral Chats as well, there is a level of caution that you have to take there because you're opening your team, sorry, your opponent's team to be able to decide if they have a pickup power to take the damage and then use his Colossal Retaliation. So be mindful that Sutur can be this guy's uh, uh, nemesis. And, you know, so find a way, protect him with double Flora so you don't have how to play the Sutur against him. You know, don't think it's he's an auto play and he's going to do his stuff on his own. People are already reacting to his existence, which, again, is another great sign that this piece, this piece is pure meta because people are already planning against him. So great piece to use. We'll see table, but to be used with a little more care than just put it there and expect him to do the work. But amazing. Uh, good in sealed. 
again, it's not going to... He's defensive. You don't have many pickup powers in the set, but you do have them. Uh, could be more of a tie-up piece, actually, in sealed. And, you know, if you don't have a pickup power to face, uh, I would give him a 7 in sealed. But, you know, in meta, definitely is going to see table. Him and Leech, uh, wherever you expect to see a... Maybe even Prodigy, wherever you expect to see a pickup power, this guy will likely be there to give him trouble. So one thing that George and I just kind of saw out of the uh, corner of our eye... He has the uh, dolphin symbol for his movement. Yep. Go figure. True. I wonder if that's a little uh, hat tip to Darwin. Darwinism. <laughs> <laughs> True. All right, George. All right, number 36, all new Wolverine. Keywords, all new X-Men, Circle of Four, Weapon X, X-Force, X-Men. Real name, Laura Kinney. 100 points, um, has three traits. Unexpected team-ups. During Force Construction, all new Wolverine gains all the keywords of one character she shares at least one of her printed keywords with. Trait number two, Jonathan the Unstoppable Wolverine. Free. Once per game, generate a Jonathan bystander. The first time each game that that bystander would be KO'd, instead it isn't. And last trait, Kickstarted Healing Factor. At the beginning of your turn, I'll underline, you may roll a d6 and add the number of action tokens on all new Wolverine. On a final result of five or more, heal one click. Um, as a new player, you know, reading it, you know, the first trait might kind of throw them off, but the other two is pretty, you know, explains it. I'd probably give this one at least a seven. Seven? Yeah. All right. From a casual standpoint, I love these keywords. She's hitting every keyword that I, I love to play in any sort of game. I mean, she's got all, all the favorites there. The fact that the unexpected team-ups, if I pair her with an X-Men, X-Force, Weapon X, Circle 4, or all new X-Men, and I need to tie that keyword over, say, for example, Red Hulk with Circle of 4 to get her into being a Thunderbolts, or, you know, like... Uh, X Force to get it over to being, you know, an assassin or a soldier or something along those lines to to build those teams. Um, ecstatic celebrity, whatever I need to do to actually flesh that out, it, it can really help build that. The uh, the Jonathan Pog, you know, Pogs to me are something that's on a higher level, but uh, you know, her dial itself being charged blades, a lot of fun to play. Just run in there and then playing against George. This. Uh, Kickstarted healing factor. I had her down to her last click <laughs> in a sealed game, and he got her all the way back up to top click. So, just her performance alone in a casual scene and all her keywords, I'm gonna give her a nine, just shy of perfect. So, awesome <clears throat> one action token on he hit the six <laughs> each time for the, that one was fun. Oh, so, so aggravating. I pushed it, I, I moved a shooter, I pushed a shooter, she was almost dead. Then he got the one heal, then he regened all the way up to click three, and then he healed again, and I was just like, <laughs> Man, and if, you, and if you pair her, and if you pair her with this super rare angel, uh, they share another keyword, so she can become X-Factor, and angel can heal her again, or take a token off of her, and carry her. <laughs> and he can carry her out there, and then she drops Jonathan. Yep. Like, anyway, then... your review, Pedro, your review. <laughs> I, like her, I like her a lot. I think that she's also... Uh, her dial is super aggressive. It's blades all day long. So her only weaker cl clicks is on four. I'm a little bit uh, sad and happy at the same time that her two five and two last clicks are amazing. But it's gonna have you wondering: Do I regen or do I just keep here and I get you know mm -hmm. uh, better fury and twelve blades? So it's 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 to make you wonder. But it's awesome. Uh, my only caution with regards to Seal is you need someone to carry her, and the better the carry, the, the merrier, because you can do like a Clarion style and put her right up front so that she can make better use of her combat reflexes. Call Jonathan in, perplex his attack, and go have fun. Uh, he's great because there are some serious shape changes in the set. But again, I wouldn't recommend playing her in Sealed if you don't have someone to carry her hard, because we saw that there are some Cyclops and some very good uh, ranged hitters here. And even if you use her perplex in the approach to put it on an 18, 
you're still going to have no reducers and you know 18 is not that impossible to get so she's very aggressive but at the same time very fragile if you don't have a quick way to bridge the gap to your opponent and make it happen uh on the constructed side so for sealed if you have the right team i can think she can be a seven or eight otherwise she might actually be uh, a liability unfortunately but uh she has all the keywords she's a great fit she's flexible 100 points is something to consider but it's not gonna uh, harm your team uh now on the constructed side for the same reasons i think it's going to be a little bit harder to see in the main force but i think she she shares the she has the, her own id card the only wolverine and calling this girl for a perp uh, perplex blades at 11 uh and calling jonathan to to wrap up the kill with battle fury like mike need already told you guys that's another level expect her to show up uh one way or another so yes for definitely definitely showing up and constructed uh i'm nine for a call-in because call-ins with pogs are awesome uh and a seven depending on how your team is eight on sealed if you can carry her hard all right up next number 37a professor x keyword x-men real name charles xavier first straight headmaster of the x-men as before leadership and perplex but only target character with the X or another friendly character excuse me with the X-Men keyword uh, during force construction you include a student ID without paying its cost his special movement power he has for his first three clicks at 75 or just his first click at 50 uh, I will not harm another if I can help it mind control when Professor X uses it as a range action he targets all opposing characters within range regardless of line of fire and that range is eight by the way and all hit targets can't make attacks during this action. So he's going to grab everybody who's opposing within eight squares with his 12 attack. And uh, then move them. Just shuffle them about wherever you need them to be for half their movement. Um, so he does have eight range, two bolts, 12 attack on his 75 point, 11 on his 50 point, 18 defend on 75, 17 defend on 50. Outwit, willpower, X-Men team ability. George, take it away. I'd probably give this one maybe a five. Just, no, let's give it a four. Because they're going to have a hard time kind of knowing how many figures to move and what they can do with this. I'm going to go with a four. All right. So, X-Men keyword. Love the X-Men keyword. Oh, I forgot to mention, he does have um, pass for line of fire. So, he can shoot out of base contact. So, there's really no reason for him to, have to ever have to do mind control at close while he has that special power. This guy is on another level. Um, as far as casual play, you can have a lot of fun, you know, pushing people around, leading the X-Men, calling in the student ID card. Uh, I'll give him a, a solid seven for casual play. Okay, yeah, I think on in sealed, in sealed again, it's going to be very dependent. Uh, everybody moving his team, moving your opponent's team is amazing. Ameridoid, Ameridoid is there to prove it right um it's 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 a it's a bit of a gamble it's i i can't say this is out of play and 18 defense is decent out with is is always amazing eight range with two bolts also helps with an out range uh, most of the other pieces here a little bit complicated i wouldn't rely on having a 75 points where he shines with his mind control because he's you know then you're going to be left with less points to work around and have attackers so I, I would say he's a little bit iffy in sealed, so I would say a neutral five or six. Um, in constructed, if you want to risk it, maybe, but I, we could try to call him in a call-in, so I don't think he's going to see constructed play, to be honest, because of the next Professor X that we're going to talk about. It's a no K piece, it has a lot of potential, but requires a lot of finesse, and with the current pieces, the meta that we have today, that maybe, I don't think it's going to be stable. Next meta, it's one to watch for because he might do some serious shenanigans. So this guy has the Brood, the New Mutants, and the X-Men keyword. His real name is Charles Xavier. Uh, he has two traits. The first one is the Royal Egg for each of you. When an opposing character of 50 points or less or another friendly character with the New Mutants keyword is KO'd, you generate a Royal Hatchling Bystander. Uh, he also has the Headmaster for the New Mutants. He says leadership and perplex, but only to target another friendly character with the New Mutant keyword. And doing force construction, you may add a student ID on your force without adding its cost. Uh, his special movement power on his first three clicks is Hive Mind Control, which is Mind Control sidestep. And when Professor X uses Mind Control and hits, you replace each hit character's attack and damage value with the highest printed attack and damage value, respectively, among them. And 
uh, special damage power that goes to the first three clicks and the first one on his blue line, which is the fourth click, which is in power and shape change. Mr. George, what do you think about Mr. Kaf Professor X Kafka? <laughs> well, loving the sculpt. Um, words, though. Words are a thing for a new player. I'm going to have to probably give this one also a four. Pretty low end, just because of his complexity. Uh, as far as casual play, having the brood keyword New Mutants and X Men, I think there's a lot of here. Running a brood arm, high point game, watching their guys go down, pop out the, the royal hatchlings, have your other broods, maybe a brood queen on there, popping out other broods, just having a good old time, swarming people up, uh, and then you know just everything else he does in, in a, a perfectly casual sense. Uh, I really think that this guy he's going to score an eight. I for one don't like the sculpts i i know what it's supposed to be i just i don't know i'm weirded out by professor x <laughs> with the, a brood head so well this guy yeah this guy is auto playing sealed he it doesn't matter he's standing on his own he has shape change also gives him power uh his his mind control is ridiculous ridiculous because you get a supporter piece and now a supporter piece will hurt your main attacker just like him so that's, <laughs> that's 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 hard eight range you're gonna outrange everybody i think that personally i think that blades there is fun but it's kind of a waste because it was built to be at max range just creating chaos in your opponent's team and then he gets penetrating psych bass which is awesome because then you're gonna drop the mind control and you're just gonna do uh, straight out damage so i think it's out of playing sealed he's he's one of the close to tens if not a 10 uh in sealed he's amazing um and on constructed teams, like if if I wish we had more broods to make more shenanigans with it, but I see him as a strong call-in um, ID. I think the ID card for the participation in the next uh, the new WQOs is Professor X, right? That grants shape change. That is correct. So, yeah, so it's a great ID card, an amazing inspiration. And if your if your opponents don't position their team properly, you call in these guys, you know, unleash hell. And just have fun with it. So I like him very much. I think it's gonna be the the a super call in. Might see playing constructed, might, but 90 points for, for 90 points and this being your main attraction in the constructed team, it's risky. I'm not saying it's not gonna happen, but it's risky. Uh, and Pog generation is always amazing. So you know, the tele why the teleporter is still alive. Pogs are, are worth double. Uh, conceptually speaking, so I like him. I like him very much. I'm still divided about this cup. Sometimes, some days I like it, some days I dislike. It's a little bit creepy. <laughs> so depending on your creepiness level of the day, this could be cool or scary. Number thirty-eight, Magic Exiles New Mutants Mystical. Real name, Ilyana Rasputin. Yeah, uh, first trait, New Mutants. At the beginning of your turn, if this character is adjacent to a friendly character with the New Mutants keyword, you may you may heal this character one click, period. If you do, friendly characters can't make attacks this turn. Second trait, what I could become. The magic would be KO'd, roll a d6 and add the number of corrupted tokens. If the result is eight or more, you may instead replace her with uh, number 58 magic on click number five. And then her move ability that she gets for her entire dial is Phasing Teleport Passenger 3. When she carries, give her a corrupt, corrupted token. Her attack ability is on her first three clicks. Soul Sword, Blaze Claws Fangs. When magic uses it in damage to opposing character, give her a corrupted token. And then she drops regular blades. She has uh, Imperv, or excuse me, Invuln, ESD, and Prob. You know, new player. Probably give this one a four. Four? Yeah. All right. Well, um, from a casual perspective, I'm excited to see the Exiles, Exiles keyword. I read that storyline, and if this is the magic from that storyline, which she could or cannot be, she had a, a really interesting but very short run in the series. Uh, new Mutants Mystical, always a great keyword to see. Uh, this mechanic of upgrading to the dark child version is very interesting but it's disappointing that it's only when she would be ko'd uh because it would be nicer if you could just like get enough corrupted tokens and then jump her up to the super air version on like a power action roll or yeah. something 
and just have her, you know, corrupt out. The fact that she's a, a taxi for three, and, you know, if you've got the, the other version on the sideline, it could really work out well for you, as well as the blades. This figure it is going to be a lot of fun and casual. You can build theme teams with her. You can make sure to have the other one on the sideline and just, just go ham with it. Just throw her in a battle, start swinging, start carrying, and then hope to get the upgrade. So I'm going to give her a solid seven. Okay. Yeah. In, I, I, I echo what you said. In, in, it's complicated. In sealed, in sealed she, like you, you already touched the point that scares me a little bit. She was made she was made to go straight up her face. So probably to carry the only Wolverine and they all go together and blades people to death way up front. But if you look at her dial, she won't be able to get to her to prob on her own because you need you know to push her once and then to push her again to get there. Uh, but when you get there, she was made to be close combat, but now she has energy shield deflection prob and her attack drops. So I don't see a lot of synergy what she's meant to do in her first clicks, what she's able to do in her last clicks. So, and it's 75 points. If you want to go, and we're going to go get there, I don't want to spoil. If you want to see a character that's a lot of points but do everything well, we are, we're almost there. And we'll talk about him. But um, it's 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 complicated. So I would say it's a four, actually on sealed, unfortunately. If you're lucky enough to pull both her and the super rare, maybe. Uh, because then you have an incentive to take her to town. Otherwise, you're not going to see that prob purposefully. And, and if you do, you're probably about to die. So unfortunately, not very good. In sealed, sorry, in constructed, if someone want to try something limited with new mutants, maybe, because then you're going to see some synergies with Cable and other crazy stuff out there. But again, not expecting to see it. You know, unfortunately, if she was indomitable, maybe, because now you're betting on get probability control because you were hit and not because you pushed maybe but honestly in this current matter not seen constructed at all so at three maybe uh, unless you're going to do limited on new mutants and he sealed again unfortunately very little synergy so another you know four or five as well all right up next number 39 sprite unique uh real name kitty pride improved movement Elevated, hindering, blocking, and character bases. Uh, first trait, she is a child. What have I done? That is a quote from when Magneto thought he killed her. Uh, when Sprite is KO'd by an attack, after resolutions, uh, the attack the attack is dealt to penetrating damage and given an action token. So a uh, little bit of backlash there after she dies. Uh, X student, when this character or an adjacent friendly character's attack roll includes exactly one five, modify one target's defense by minus one. And my phasing stuns Garok. When Sprite moves through one or more opposing characters after resolutions and once per turn, you may roll a d6. Uh, on a five six, give one of those characters an action token. And they said that very specifically to stop you from sidestepping after you've moved and then doing it again and locking yep. people down because you get that on a five six uh no range good amount of charge nine eight seven special attack power which is the phasing so you could run through somebody punch them and then see if you can hand out uh, an action token to one of those characters um 18 with super senses super senses the whole dial exploit on that charge that's pretty nice uh finishes out with sidestep and shape change for 50 points with the uh, Go Kablooey. George? All right. Well, yes, there's a lot of words for a new player, but it's very easy to understand. I give this for a new player probably a six. Okay. From a, uh, a casual standpoint, only being able to build into X-Men, and I say only loosely because there's a lot of X-Men, for 50 points, it's going to go well. The fact that you can basically just send it out there and just run around and annoy your opponent, knowing that whoever hits her last is going to take two, it, it, that's that's just awesome. Nanner, nanner, <laughs> nanner. Um, also, I could see her having a lot of options on either call-in, being Shadow Cat or Kitty Pride, to just run in there, run out in the field, hit somebody, and say, "Okay, you want the fifty points? You're gonna you're gonna pay for it if you want them." And then she just sits out there. So, from a, a casual standpoint, uh. I'll give her a six. I think that she could. You could definitely have a lot of fun with her. Yeah, I I, I like what you said. Uh, I like her actually personally. I think it's super fun. Um, in on on sealed, fifty points is easy to fit in. Again, X Men. She might be the one you need to close your X Men team team. 
Uh, if you look from a, st she is a. I wouldn't say she's an attacker, uh, but if you put all her all her kit together, uh, the phasing that gives a token, two damage with a, with her charge that is penetrating, eighteen super senses. She's likely not to be one shot. So worst case scenario, she can be a decent tie up with super senses and shape change. And if you keep her on the top three clicks, you can still dish out tokens. And she is kind of please and i say this with quote point denial because do i really want to invest in a piece that might roll super senses and if it doesn't it goes to shape change and super senses and if i kill her i still take two penetrating so <laughs> she's probably she's probably gonna be making your, your opponent be like oh my god do i do it but if i don't she's gonna be giving me tokens she's annoying and you know so i that kind of confusion that kind of of distraction from the rest of your team is always easy it's always good is always healthy for you and unhealthy for your opponent. It's only 50 points, so I I think her she's a might be a hidden gem uh, in sealed, especially if you can fit her in. And worst case scenario, she can also be used to be the girl that takes the token for the team team prop. So she can make she's a small, humble but very useful army knife there. Um, in constructed, unfortunately, she can be one shot. It's not that complicated, and you know, and it's and she'll probably be dead by the time she tries to get through to pull any of her shenanigans close to anyone. So I don't see, I don't expect a lot of play uh, uh, from her. I think Kitty Pride does have a ID or not? Does she share? She has her own, right? And she, it's it's Sprite yeah, with Kitty Pride on the back, as yeah. well as Shadow Cat's ID card has yeah. both Kitty Pride and Sprite on it as well. Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't use it as you know. This one is gonna be one that decides the, the 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 game. But you have it for free. You want a cheap options, fifty points. A secondary character can call in. You dish out a token, you know, just for funds. If you're lucky, and then do some penetrating damage. Again, it's not gonna turn the tide of the game, but it's a cheap option to spin the teleporter, and you don't have to pay a hundred dollars for her. So it's 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 okay. Okay, yeah, Pedro, you're up. Banshee. I this scoped I like very much. I'm a big fan of Banshee and all the shenanigans you ever brought to the game, except for the last one on the OP kit, which is we're gonna pretend that never was that was never made. But anyway, the tone of shame. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It maybe had a rash, and they put just the dog protection so he doesn't bite himself. So he has the keywords detective, generation X, police, and X-Men. Uh, he's Sean Cassidy. He has one the headmaster uh, trait, which is leadership and perplex, but only to friendly characters with the generation X keyword. And you can add a student RD cards for free. Uh, he has one uh, special attack power on his clicks two to four, which is leave your head ringing, which is when Banshee hits an opposing character of less points with a ranged attack. After resolutions, give that character uh, an action token. It's 75 points. Uh, you know, he has the magical combination of sweet words, running shot, pulse wave. Um, in his first click, 17 energy shield deflection is not bad. Uh, three with enhancement is also not bad. If someone's gonna be, he's gonna carry someone that shoots, it's never uh, a bad deal whatsoever. Uh, he loses pulse wave very quickly. It's only on his first click and on his last two. Uh, but then he starts to be incapacitating people a little bit. He gets will power there in the middle, but then he has force blast. I think it's a maybe call me picky but i think it's kind of a jumble there and his his lower points it's with all due respect that you know for 40 points for that is kind of useless because he's going to be dead before he reaches pulse wave anyways so george what do you think you know it's kind of pretty straightforward and so i'm gonna give this one a seven all right so his uh for a casual the, the length of keywords he has here, Detective is a nice one. You can throw him with some Batman and have some fun. Uh, police, you can throw him with some Flash. Uh, X-Men, Generation X, just Generation X, seeing them play the other night, having him run with them. And if you have somebody like Sync who says, oh, you have top dial Pulse Wave? I'm going to take Pulse Wave, thanks. <laughs> you know, um, I, I disagree with having Running Shot, Pulse Wave, and Enhancement. Because usually when you're pulse waving, you don't want your friendlies around. So he's going to run out there by himself, pulse yeah. wave, and then maybe have somebody run up afterward. I can see it working that way. But you're, you know, you're going to want to taxi someone in, which locks down your pulse wave. It's going to counter itself. But being able to call in uh, the Gen X uh, ID cards with this guy, the student ones, 
could be very helpful because you are going to have that theme going on. Um, handing out action tokens is never a bad thing. On his lower point value, you run, run out, hit him, perplex one of your Gen Xs in the back and have him run up. I think as far as casual play goes, when you build a good solid theme team around it, you're going to have a lot of fun with this at either point value. So I'm going to give him a 7. Cool. I think I think unfortunately he's he's a little bit bad in sealed because for the reasons you said, first you need a lot of finesse and coordination to have to use that enhancement properly. Either he moves first and someone gets close to him. The fact that he's only has gonna be without perplexes on his own, a three range pulse wave, that's kind of quote that help because he moves four before pulse waving so even if he's carrying someone he can move away and pulse wave without hurting who he's got there but if he needs to pulse wait where he stands and you have a friend mike need already covered yeah you're probably doing it wrong but um what what what, what hurts him in sealed for me a little bit extra is that not having willpower or indomitable means that you're gonna have to preserve that first click all the time. So, you know, it's going to be hard. You won't be able to push to enjoy pulse wave. Then you're pushing, you know, the main reason why you brought there is gone. And then you're going to have the tokens, which is great, but doesn't beat pulse wave. So very hard. I don't see it coming. You lose tempo. You're going to have to, 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 to give up a lot to protect the first click. And, you know, a 19 in these days is not that hard. You get someone with prob and a high attack and you're gone. So, yeah, bad for steel. I'm giving a three because he still has pulse wave. Otherwise, it'll give less. And it's not going to show up in Constructed, unfortunately, unless they make a bunchy ID card because 75 points for a running shot pulse wave, 10-3, it's, it's decent. It's decent. <laughs> but you know, other than that, you know, goner, you know, Sorry. Just real quick, uh, at his lower point value, 40 points with his keywords, Generation X and X-Men, he does have leadership, so he could be running with bigger guys handing out uh, perplexed to his yeah. Gen X people and leadershipping them from the back lines for 40 points if you got that little room for filler there. Yep. On to me. Number 41, Chamber. Keywords, Generation X, X-Men. Real name, General Thon Starsmore. Uh, trait, I don't know if we got over the Generation X trait yet. Nope, we haven't. Nope, all right, first time. Generation X, power, move up to five squares to make a close attack. Second trait, a living psionic furnace, poison, period. When he uses it, he deals penetrating damage to opposing characters of less points. He is 70.6 range. Um, just by looking at the color of his powers for a new player, I'd probably give him, I'd give him a seven. Just for simplicity overall? Yeah. All right. Um, so Generation X and X-Men, I've been really impressed by the Generation X figures in this. The fact that he's got the X-Men, he can run with them too. Uh, he's just, he's begging to be played. Uh, that Diet Coke charge <laughs> with poison and penetrating damage to characters that are 69 points and lower with Pensai, you know, the only thing I would have begged for more would be give him running shot, make make him an attacker, you know, have him do some good. But as it stands, you're looking to run people up to him. He's going to be a little bit complicated work, but the fact that he's running with Gen X and X Men, there's a billion things that can you can use to make him work. I'm gonna to have to give him a solid solid nine. Mm. Not to mention well, the ID card column. <laughs> yeah, in in you you covered in seal the lack of rate move and attack. Sorry, for use to use his penetrating psychic class would be an issue. Uh, the diet coke uh, the charge there, it's decent. It, it does it doesn't leave him defenseless. So you know, uh, six range, it's not that bad. I just think that seventy points that you know people can can cover that and hurt him pretty. Let's quote that easily. So I I don't see him as a good. I love the sculpt. I like the piece. Uh, I, I, but I don't see this very fruitful. Uh, in sealed, in in again in competitive, not really, definitely not really, because it's easy to take out. Uh, you know, three dam normal three damage from a close attack is not going to make a difference. Penetrating would, uh, but again, not not indomitable, easy to take down. Post waving his last two clicks is okay. Regeneration on the last one is always good to have, but very rare to be effective. And if you do, you're probably wasting a great chance to pulse wave someone for two. So not going. I'm going to say. Three for sealed, two for competitive, and I promise I'm in a good mood. I love the sculpt, but it's a little <laughs> bit less synergic to do to be competitive. Sorry. That's right. One thing I do want to throw in: 
he does have Force Blast this whole dial, so you can actually move out five, go behind somebody, and attack them, and then you'll knock them back three damage if you're or three squares if you're top click and you go clean damage, knock them back closer to your team so then they can focus fire on them. That could be a solid strategy with this guy. Yep. M number forty two, Generation X, X Factor. Real name, Monet Saint Croix. Uh Generation X power, move up to five squares and then make a close attack. I love this trait. I it is a shame I have not been able to run Gen X yet. Uh, special damage power she has for her first three clicks on her 90 point value, first click on 50 point value. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, if an opposing character used Outwit since your last turn, she can use Outwit until your next turn. Full stop. At the beginning of your turn, if an opposing character used Perplex since your last turn, M can use Perplex until your next turn. So if you Outwitted me or Perplexed me, now I have it. Regardless of range, regardless of line of fire, it's mine. So she starts with Hypersonic, just the one click with Invincible and the special attack power at 90 points with Flight and Willpower. Drops into Sidestep, Super Strength, in, uh, and Vulnerability. At her lower point value, she starts with Charge, Super Strength, and Vuln, drops into Sidestep, and then her attack value goes down. But late dial, she picks up Close Combat Expert and Toughness overall. So, George? Oh, man. After going up against this one the other night, just ick. Um, you know, yeah, the damage ability's got like a like a ginormous paragraph, but for a new player, it's still fairly simple to understand. I'm gonna give this one a seven. Seven. All right. This figure, for the the casual scene, and even for myself, highly anticipated. Generation X, X Factor, great pool of keywords, especially from the set. Uh, I love the fact that you get that movement with an attack and sidestep, which so I can carry you five, which isn't going to reduce, and then I can sidestep two, so I'm an eight square taxi if I'm on sidestep. And I get to punch you afterward if I'm adjacent. So she doubles as a taxi, she doubles, uh, goes primary as an attacker for 90 points, and, and then she picks up out and her perplex if your opponent has it. And a lot of people will build, uh, you know, perplex out with probability control. I think she's going to be worlds of fun in casual. I'm going to give her a full-on nine. I'll second that for sealed. Hypersonic, invincible, can get out with or perplex. Crazy fool of headmasters there to give her at least perplex. And if your opponent has an out to it, guess what? Now so do you. Um, like you cover it perfectly on her second click, which is she loses uh, hypersonic, but she can still do a seven move carrying someone and attacking. So it's still great. She's hitting for three. With Invincible, she's likely to end in her second or third click anyway with hit. So you're still going to have your power there to recover. And, you know, one of the few characters that can easily absent the big guys, super rares, etc. But in the in, in the in the chances of showing up in your booster and you playing her with going to do four damage, you know, without much F on her own. So, you know, I, and even on her last click, she can still have close combat expert to boost that nine at least to a 10 back to a 10 three uh or if you want to push it a nine four or even an 11 two so i i like her very much you covered i would give her the same nine sealed in constructor unfortunately you have better guys with hyper she's kind of a bit of everything you have better guys with charge for full damage you have better guys that are more nimble with hypersonic so you know unless you want to build an x-factor team and make use of her flexibility i don't see her playing in the table at least while this rotation lasts at all when constructed but in sealed she's a solid nine you got it right there Icarus, 50 points crazy sculpt red wings um his helions keywords and new mutants he's joshua guthrie he has the aliens um helions uh trait which is when the character attack rolls 10 or more damage dealt by this attack his attack is penetrating uh he has the x student trait as well which is when you have attack roll that has exactly one five modify targets defense by minus one and she has two uh two clicks in his first two clicks is special movement powered which repeats on this last one that is just want to keep flying charge when icarus uses it he can use willpower and improved movement this character can move to a square adjacent to or occupied by opposing characters without stopping automatically breaks away even if they have plasticity for the old school guys usually known as ignore characters for movement purposes but um it's 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 george to comment i don't want to have the pineapple trophy again 
<laughs> I was waiting for it. Don't get yeah. excited. We're like, here it goes. Here goes. I, 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 I <laughs> could see his hand on the horn right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, for a new player, it's still pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna give this one probably an eight. An eight? Yeah, eight for Icarus. All right. From casual standpoint, Hellions. You know, we've got a good set of Hellions in this, uh, but any other Hellions are way back. But the fact that they gave them new mutants as well, you've got a myriad of theme teams that you can put together with this. Uh, the Hellion straight, I actually had it go off quite a quite a few times, but in this set itself, there weren't a lot of reducers I've been into. Um, I've seen that happen a couple times as well. I like this ignore character bases with charge and willpower, which is an interesting thing when you've got Quake with two damage. So base them up, drop them in, and uh, you know try and survive with the 18 super senses for 15 points. Great taxi, great run and hit somebody, have a lot of fun, start throwing dice, start clicking dials. Uh, I'm going to give him a seven. Yeah, we, it look, it's going to look like I have no originality, but following Mike, it's hard. Uh, I see the same uh, same <laughs> same score same score for sealed. Why is that? Go back to my angel comments and you're going to see why. Flying for 10, can carry, willpower on charge is very useful. He's going to be aggressive way up there, 18 super senses defenses. He's, he's going to do it. 50 points, he services as the carry and a secondary kind of attacker. Perplex on his third or fourth click, useful. Regeneration on last one, again, nice to have. Harder to use, um, but uh, the only thing I'm a little bit resentful of the whole set is this crazy energy shield deflects on mid dial for characters that are meant to be close combat. I don't know if they're punishing you for the going up. I, I would like to see combat reflexes there, you know, and this this would make a lot more sense. But having a guy that can carry, that can be pushed to carry, has a decent defense originally, drops down to perplex, you know, and 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 can do some damage. He can even quake. Which again, in sealed, you're not gonna have many reducers, or he can go up for the back of the team and hit your support characters. I like him pretty much. I think it's a solid seven sealed. And constructor, unfortunately, again, we're gonna talk about the, an, another angel that does this and does a little bit better. So, yeah, not not happening. It's a, it's a three or four. I like the dial, but you know, not not gonna happen meta wise. All right, number forty-four, rock slide. Keywords: Hellions and X-Men. Your name, Santo Vaccaro. Uh, we've already gone over the Helms trait and the X student trait. Um, his special attack power, he gets like the last two is shrapnel, pulse width, with a range of six. He, though he doesn't have range, it gives him range. Yeah, it six. gives him the range. Um, special defense ability, he gets his full dial. Absorb power from scrap. Toughness, period. Invul invulnerability, but only if Rockside occupies hindering terrain. Period. Impervious, but only if you if he but only if he is adjacent to a piece of blocking terrain. At the beginning of your turn, if Rockside is adjacent to a piece of blocking terrain, heal him one click. Um, he does have improved movement through hindering. He has charged the first two clicks, sidestep last three, and then um, mid dial he gets super strength. Um, no special damage. New player, I'd probably say a six, because that pulse wave part might kind of throw off the new player a little bit. All right. So from a uh, casual standpoint, again, Hellions, X-Men, great keywords. I had the chance to play this guy the other day. and gets me. <laughs> wow. And so my opponent looks over and goes, he's got a printed four top dial for 70 <laughs> points. And I went, yeah. Uh, one day that his super strength doesn't come into play until one click in. I don't know how effective that is unless you really pace yourself to be there. Being able to have invul while standing hindering or impervious if you're next to blocking is really great. That heal, if you have anybody on your team who has barrier, um, you can just heal them up. You can box them in and let them sit there and heal for a few turns and then get them back in the fight. And ignoring hindering train with that charge being a hit, I ran him with uh, the Cyclops that, uh, if he's the first one to hit, increases damage. I was punching for five damage because Cyclops would hit first. Then uh, Heli or Rock Slide would charge over. He'd be like, oh, hi, uh, I hit you for five. Oh, look at that. I rolled higher than ten. It's penetrating damage. Bye. Ouch. <laughs> Next. It, it was over. So he, he's 
He's really, uh, I don't know his story, but uh, as far as playability goes, he's solidly playable. And you can have a lot of fun with him, so I'm going to have to give him an 8. Yeah, I, I enjoy I enjoy the, the I don't remember who was the, a character that has this similar husk or something. I don't know, I remember right now. But it's Mondo. I think Mondo has a very similar power, if not the same, in terms of, yeah. The hindering terrain and peer is adjacent to blocking, but Mondo doesn't have the healing. Uh, I like him. I think it, I think in sealed again. This is a this is a set that has a lot of people shooting, uh, but if you can play the map to your favor, you can get away with at least invulnerability. Uh, and but you're probably looking for being close to to blocking terrain and Mike Nito crack the code there if you have someone that makes barrier then you don't need to rely on the map uh, he's meant to be hit and then healed back because you know it's a low defense with no extra powers uh, but you know he might for 70 points he's not that expensive and having three or four damage printed on his dial you know mo in all clicks the the, the, less, the lesser of one being three is always refreshing with a chance of it all being penetrating so He's not going to be your main attacker, but he might be a secondary attacker that if your opponent don't pay attention, doesn't pay attention, it's going to be annoying. So I would give him a 7 or 8 in sealed. But for, for unfortunately, for competitive play, you, you bring a green arrow, he shoots 12 for 5, he doesn't even need to alter his attack, mm -hmm. he's going to hit, and this guy's dead. But, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah. on sealed, he can be a, a, an annoyance in constructed, not gonna happen on even rate because his school doesn't deserve a low rate he's not fit for for current matter next brew duh <laughs> um number 45 uh keyword brood x-men there's your other brood keyword in modern you can run them with the xavier real name unknown i'm just gonna go with brood um x student trait so that's one uh five to modify defense or he usually doesn't bite Usually, if Brew is 25 points, he's KO'd when his dial clicks past the red KO line. And then his special uh, damage power, 35% uh, chance to murder and consume at least four classmates. Uh, stop. Battle Fury, Exploit Weakness. Um, his point values are 50 for the whole dial, uh, 25 if you just want the first two. He's uh, Leap Climb, Toughness, Outwit, Tiny Size, with 17 defense drops to a 16. He's basically just going to jump around the map and uh, do outwit. And then if you do pay the full 50, he's got that stop click where he can just rage out and start exploiting and battle fury and blazing and charging and combat reflexes and just going to town. George? Let's give this one seven. It's kind of easy to understand. I mean, that stop click. Yeah, give him a seven. All right. For a casual play, you know, I've had a chance to run this guy by the stop click because it's it's a double stop click and it's not on defensive power, so you at least you have to triple tap him at the very least. And so, you know, just carry him around as an outwit and you could mastermind to him or have him take the first hit and then he activates and then he just starts going ham. With his help, I was actually able to almost kill a kid gladiator. Uh... I, I decided not to roll the blades because he's got the three damage and I was one damage shy. So, um, you know, in casual, you can put him on an X-Men team as a great filler for an outlet for 25. 50 points, he fits in just great. Uh, I'm going to have to give him a seven. He he pulls his weight for being such a little guy. Yep, you said it. You know, uh, in sealed, it's amazing because his 25 points to pocket out with. Tiny without it, you know, 25 points, it's, it's always good. So always a good start uh, to a character. If you have, if if this rounds up your team, and by all means, he has the X Men keyword. So again, for seal, this is the keyword that you're gonna have the most. So it's likely an extra guy for prob uh, on your team. Team, um, he's amazing. And if you if you have the extra 25 points, Mike need to cover it very nicely. It's a triple tap because I don't I, I don't see anyone in this set that can do what Green Arrow can do. So. You know, gotta love with kids for giving characters that move away defense powers and then move stop clicks to the damage power, keeps the meta rolling. Uh, I love him. I particularly love him. Uh, uh, you know, bash me all you want. 25 points for a pocket outwit. It's amazing. And if you have the extra 25 to make him into a beast close combat, straight up in your face, awesome. I think it's a solid eight in sealed due to his flexibility and both line um, starting lines, not starting, both 
punctuations being extremely useful either way uh and also uh, uh because you know it's 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 raw damage uh, uh in the second line uh once you cross that line sorry on constructed you know i don't think i don't i don't think it's gonna maybe the 25 for an outwit if you don't have other sources but again there's plenty of sources for outwit still uh it's a pity because i think he's very strong maybe maybe and again mike mike always has the good insights maybe if you're gonna make a mastermind team and you're not worried about team team and you want to have some crazy surprise from your opponent have someone that is easy to carry has outwit and it's masterminded into a beast it's never a bad idea but it's going to be a very specific niche so i'm going to leave the jury out there for constructed for a few more rotations currently you have very meaningful ways to deal with mastermind after rotation you will not so keep an eye this guy would go to my watch list for rotation for the moment he's going to sit out but a beast in sealed he's got an id card for uh calling on brew as well yep which would be great if you could call him on this, uh, on this third click or fourth a pd you can <laughs> i know right oh my god can you imagine um so uh gold balls mr gold balls has 45 points five range two boats force blast all day long his five clicks he has the spider-man family keywords and the x-men and his real name is fabio medina uh he has the trade x student with this on a row of a single five modified targets defense by one he has the other trait called gold balls which gives him a unique modifier opposing carrots adjacent to or occupying the same square as or holding one or more gold ball objects modify their attack and defense by minus one and he has a special attack power through all his die which is Boink. When Gold Balls hits an opposing character with a range attack, after resolutions, you may generate a standard like object named Gold Ball in the hit character's square. Mr. George. So I sit here snickering like a junior <laughs> high kid. <laughs> but just the, the attack ability, the point, I can imagine him throwing like a ping pong ball at someone's you know, skull for that. I, I can only think of the scene in the Superior Spider Man. Where he ends up taking that croquet ball to the groin and it says doink. <laughs> <laughs> or no, I think he says dope, but it says yeah. it says poink or doink or something. It was, oh, it was terrible. Um, for a new player, that second trait, it's a little confusing. Even just hearing Pedro read it, I'm sitting here going, "What?" Yeah. So I'm gonna have to give this one at least a four just because of that second trait for the. All right. So for casual, having Spider-Man family out of the blue in an X-Men set and then having the X-Men keyword is pretty amazing. Um, you know, being able to go, hi, I'm Fabio. Have some gold ball. <laughs> it is worth playing him for 45 <laughs> points. Just being able to say that once per round. Um, the X student and, and then the gold balls thing, you know, I never really looked at this, but the fact that he generates those uh, light objects and they actually uh, modify their attack and defense by one. Um, his supposed character range attack. He is a really great um, booster for if you uh, had a storm call and gave him three bolts. Launch out three gold balls. <laughs> boink, boink, boink. <laughs> point, 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 point. Um, you know, the, the amount of fun that you could have with this guy is absolutely endless. I'm going to have to give him a seven mm. for casual. I would know. I I only wish he had a little bit more range because he deserves to have his his powers used more. Uh, Forty five points not that much to play a little bit uh, on that. Force blast is always useful. Like you said, he can you know eventually push someone away, repositioning someone. He does three damage in the first click for forty five points. Don't ignore that. And he has uh, uh, energy to deflection for an eighteen defense, which is not amazing, but does the trick. I think it, it's it's a six in sealed. You can do a lot of things. I like him for the fact that since he generates light objects, if you end up being you end up having a team that's very going to be very uh, um, melee heavy and you have some generation x guys there because you couldn't set up a cool team at least if this guy hit first when you move you carry one of the light objects boom, and you're adding some punch to your to your uh, power if not on the first turn at least on the second one because you're holding the object so or if you have a charger you then you do the extra damage right right on right there um it's it's interesting because it the downloads, sorry, 
diminishes attack, diminishes defense, can be helpful. Again, the five range kinds of get in the way a little bit. It would be a lot cooler if you could do it from a bigger distance because it's not something that's going to break the game or ruin your car your opponent's uh, life. So I would give him a bigger range too. Not worth equipping a Stormbreaker for it, for sure. Uh, but again, a, a five or six in seal just for the fun fact, uh, but definitely not. Unfortunately, not seen in constructed, not yet. I can't think of a crazy shenanigans to use right now. I can try to think of something, but for the moment, other than making your opponent wonder why you brought him, uh, it's you know it's not going to be much place else. Okay, so don't forget he's got an ID card, Colin. We 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 have to go over this. His uh, says what part of point? Don't you understand? And then his energy shield deflection says, deflected off my balls. <laughs> oh, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It had, it's on the card. You it's guys too can much, read it. Right? <laughs> I'm not making this up. I, this, this is, I almost have to give him another couple points just for the fun factor. You're running with <laughs> Kite Man. You'd be like, Kite Man, hell yeah. You shoot gold balls up. <laughs> Deflected off my balls. <laughs> you know, I, we just need a third punchline to that, and you'll just have your opponent in stitches the whole game. They won't be able to concentrate. Number 47, Prodigy. Uh, new mutant keyword, X Men keyword. Real name, David. How would you try to pronounce that? Uh, uh, Aline. Al 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 Aline. Aline? Yeah, we'll go with Aline. Yeah. Um, X student trait. We've already got over that one. Uh, knowledge but turn when opposing character uses an effect that allows allows it to choose standard powers to use you may choose a friendly character prodigy and the chosen character can use those standard powers until the end of your next turn um 30 points zero range x-men keyword or x-men team ability um as far as the powers go Looks pretty simple. The uh, trait, the second one. I'm going to give it a five. Five. <clears throat> so from a casual standpoint, he does have New Mutants and X-Men, able to fill out those theme teams really well. Sidestep Outlet for 30 points, really not bad. Uh, late Dial Support with uh, Combat Reflexes and Stealth to stay alive. X-Men Team Ability you can use to get him there. Uh, you know, he's going to X-Men or New Mutants team. As far as the knowledge challenge, I don't think you're really going to use that in casual. Again, you're going to be going up against pick powers. But, uh, you know, he's certainly by an ID for a quick step uh, that can evaporate. Really not bad. I'm going to have to give him a six. Um, yep. Yeah, I, I, we mentioned him a little bit before in passing. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, another one of the, the, the make company to Darwin and Leech. Definitely a playing sealed. Out to it for 30 points is great, period. And what he does to pick up power is amazing. Uh, he He's actually one of the, in terms of, the, we discussed this before as well in other analysis, it kind of, I'm not personally a big fan of, but calling in to stall. He's a decent call in to stall. Because not only going to bring out with, and then you know you're setting someone up for a good attack, but also if your opponent try to retaliate and pick something aggressive to 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 deal with you or him, then you know someone else that he's going to pick is going to have it to retaliate again. So it's a back and forth retaliation. It's very aggressive, and if your opponent picks it for a defense because he's afraid of you, then you will enjoy his defense anyway. So he's very tactical. Whatever he makes your opponent, you know, benefit you benefit from whatever your opponent picks. So he's definitely a good playing sealed, even if. If only for the outfit, uh, 30 points is already okay. And he has four clicks, so it's probably not going to die unless rock sliding is hit him or a couple other exceptions, and he's still going to have support. So I, I, I like him a lot in seal with a solid eight or nine. In constructed as well, uh, but he's going to, I'm assuming, new meta teams will have at least, sorry, not at least, but mostly or only one anti-pick up power. You might go crazy to have two, but then you're already at the 60 to 70 to 65 points just to cancel pick up powers and that could be a little bit detrimental if you have fire, find an opponent with that one so it, it's going to be one of the main three choices mainly darwin leech and him 
Uh, I like him. I like his flexibility, but he's a more of a the same way Dar uh, Leech is defensive because you cancel a power. Uh, Darling is neutral because you're doing some damage, but you're not canceling your opponent action. This guy is aggressive and benefiting from whatever aggression or defense your opponent brings. So definitely an auto playing seal for the outwit and a good constructed option might or might not show up depending on your opponent's style, but definitely want you to, to think about when, when building your team. All right, last and most certainly not the least out of the rares, we have Fat. Uh, number 48, X-Force, ecstatic celebrity, real name William Riley. Trait, headlines. Uh, this You'll see this trait on any of the modern ecstatics pieces. Uh, when Fat hits one or more opposing characters after resolutions, give him a headline token. Uh, next trait, it's more than just a name. It's a lifestyle. Fat. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, you may roll a d6. On a 1, your opponent's choice of the other results. On a 2, speed, 3, attack, 4, defense, 5, damage, 6, your choice of the other results. Uh, from that result, fat modifies the resulting combat value by minus 1, and the rest of his combat values by plus 1 until your next turn. So if I roll a 2, oh, I'm slow, but I have better attack, better defense, and better damage. I roll a 6. Or roll five. Oh, my damage is down, but my defense is up, my attack is up, and my speed is up. So there's really, there's a little bit of downside there, but not really. Um, his special attack power that he has his whole dial, giant reach two, period, free, remove X headline tokens. If you do, fat can use giant reach two plus X this turn being the number of headline tokens to remove. So if you've been slapping people around quite a bit, and you suddenly need a nine because you can remove seven headline tokens if you have that many. I'm just going to reach out and touch somebody with old fat here. Uh, starts with charge, uh, invuln, goes to plasticity, toughness, and late dial he gets uh, close combat expert for 75 points, exponential team ability. Take it away, George. Oh, P-H-A-T. Where do I begin? Um, With a P? <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's give him just a five. Just because, yeah. About five of the best way I can... Five, just midline it? Yeah. All right, so X-Force keyword, x Celebrity. He's going to fit an x team beautifully. Um, except for the point values, I've been looking at aesthetics and it's really hard to build that into 300 or even 400 and make it really effective. Um, uh, but just being able to roll and not really knowing what you have, being able to have that super reach and charge for 75 points, I think this guy is going to warrant you a lot of fun in a game. So I'm just going to give him a, a solid seven. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, still, again, you're, you're, you're veering away from the X-Men keyword, X-Force, you might do. Ecstatic's not going to happen, Celebrity even less. Uh, so hard to bait a two team. Again, you're going to be, expect to be facing team teams in this sealed because they're not hard to make. So, yeah, hard to break team just for this guy. He's a decent attacker for 75 points, but we discussed Mondo, we discussed Rock Slide. Uh, yes, if you're lucky on the disc six, you're probably going to make a a little bit better use off of him. He becomes a pretty decent tie up piece from click three forward, especially on three where he still does three damage and he can become a bit more menacing. A likely click for you to land on with invulnerable given the average of damage in this set, except for your occasional brute spike or or, or super hits with, with Cyclops. Um, but you know, again, it's you're sacrificing too much to have a okay to a little bit lower uh, melee attacker so unfortunately i would go with a four for sealed and in constructor unfortunately mr fat it's a lifestyle but not showing up he's going to be on the bench warming the bench and having some fun over there it's going to be <laughs> mr fantastic mr fantastic <laughs> that needs to be coined right now mr <laughs> fantastic boom <laughs> in stone there you go guys pass it around <laughs> make sure everyone knows that, that is mr fantastic until we get mr fantastic to replace him oh thank you for that one pedro that is awesome <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, guys. Well, that wraps up our uh, rare review for uh, X Men Xavier School. Hope you guys found this informative. Um, I've asked it in the last two videos. I'll ask it in. Please let us know what you think of this new format for the new guy perspective, the casual, and the meta. If this is working for you, if we should change it, what what we're looking at here. Uh, we're always looking to improve. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, uh, subscribe, like, smash that like button. Yep. And uh, remember, strike first. And strike hard.